Languages Teaching in the Diocese of Ballarat has been supported by two CECV strategic plans, together with significant funding, which has allowed for the delivery of professional learning activities, including literacy. Teachers have also been supported to meet in smaller, localised professional learning teams to collaborate on long-term planning. These video extracts capture three examples of good practice arising from this work in Ballarat diocesan schools. Once a term, all the Indonesian teachers in our area, which is West Victoria and Central Ballarat, come together in Hamilton and we meet, we collaborate on ideas, we try and um, plan units of work together. We share professional learning, so any teachers that have gone and had some professional development, we come back and be able to share that with the group. A great resource to have really because it saves us all having to attend events and because we're quite remote and live in rural Victoria, it's hard for us to get to a lot of professional development, especially in the city. We all came from a different range of Indonesian levels and teaching backgrounds. I quickly learnt that my teaching skills, computer skills, planning were very valuable to the group and gained confidence. You find the students are extremely enthusiastic about language in all our schools. Their engagement levels have been thrilling to watch actually since we've been coming up with these really rich language lessons and so we've done a farming unit and all our students, a majority are from farms, so for them to learn about the difference of um, how rice grows in Indonesia versus how we grow wheat with all our land in Australia and being able to just make those connections between things that are happening in their everyday life. I think they find it really exciting. When I first came here, it was very much around just introducing children to the basics of the language, the numbers, the animals. And we moved from that into uh, an immersion program around uh, cultural aspects of um, Indonesia. And then through funding from the uh, Languages Program through Catholic Education Victoria, I had the opportunity to go and work in Melbourne. And it opened up to me the possibilities of what a language can do for kids as far as the context of across a whole range of things, across the whole curriculum. Being able to um, link topics across subject areas is really beneficial for being able to motivate and engage the students and really give them a purpose for what they're, what they're doing in their learning. Having that opportunity to collaborate, we can share each other's expertise and sort of get ideas where we might not have actually thought to go in a particular direction, but because we have each other to bounce off, it sort of takes the planning in a totally new direction. It seemed to be a very natural thing that we sort of decided, well, let's just use the same picture storybook and for Ali to look at it from a languages point of view and for me to look at it from an arts point of view. This year we've been collaborating between Japanese and literacy and looking at what links and connections we can make between those subjects. In our Japanese class we read the fable Momotaro. Previously we would have exploited that fable as an indication of Japanese culture and society. But having observed Sarah's class, where she was teaching character and plot and what characters reveal of themselves through the things that they say and do, it became clear to me that we could do the same in Japanese. St Patrick's has, I guess, had that long-term interest in improving literacy. We know that it's a particular issue for boys, and so we're always looking out for those projects that might be able to support our classroom pedagogy, but also how that turns into actual classroom practice. So this project enabled us to explore another way to be able to improve those literacy outcomes. In this case, it happened just to be through the support that a second language can provide and can give not only to the classroom teachers, but to the boys in this situation. Yeah.